a lot. Now to a rescue in the water after a van plunged into an alligator infested pond. And tonight two people are fighting for their lives in a hospital. Local 10's Hats of alive down with Southwest Miami Dade with what led up to that crash. Hats off. So at this hour, Calvin, it is believed the driver was simply trying to avoid another car. This was quite the rescue. We saw crews in the water for a significant amount of time, hoping they could leave at least till they got everybody who they believed were inside the waters. Intense moments right off the turnpike. Crews rushing to save not one, but two people out of the murky waters from this pond. Here's what happened. This van ends up in the retention pond on the southbound exit ramp to Southwest 8th Street this morning. The vehicle lost control, uh, overturned, driving off of the roadway into the pond. Witnesses say the driver may have been avoiding hitting another car when it lost control. Those nearby try to help. Elias Moreno says he wanted to go in the water, but rescue crews on scene did not let him. Our cameras there as crews were working on a woman. Seconds later, she's rushed to the hospital. Back in the water, crews continue searching for more people to complicate things. Back on shore, you could see officers with long guns looking out for alligators that had been spotted in the water. From Sky 10, a different angle where you can see the search underway. And back in the water, you're watching when the second person is found. You can see crews rushing him to shore, quickly getting him on a stretcher and trying to keep him alive. The divers stay in the water because to make things worse, a child seat was found inside that car. So naturally, there were major concerns a child was also underwater. They rescued the two occupants, the two adult occupants, and there was nobody else. So again, two folks rescued, taken to Kendall Regional at last check. They were in critical condition. Reporting from Southwest Miami-Dade, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.